Okay, so the new program that we are going to be using is RAS Kids. We have practiced this in the classroom so your child is familiar with it. At the top of their computer, you are they're going to look for this. We call it the paw print and it's already bookmarked up there. They're going to click on that and our class web page will come up. Here it is. They're used to seeing this and the next thing they need to do is they need to find their name. So they're going to go through and they're going to find their name. Once they find their name, they're going to click on it and their password should be saved. If it's not saved, it's just their magic number that's on their red folder, but it should be saved just like this person's is saved. Then they're going to press go. When they get here, um, there are three different places. There's the reading room, the level up room, and my assignments. If they have a my assignments, they need to go there first. And when they go there, they're going to see some books that I have assigned to them. Okay, so they'll click on that and they will see a bunch of different books. We have practiced this and they know that when they click on a book, they can either listen to the book or read the book. Listen is what they want to do first, okay, because a lot of these are not at their level. Now, if they go here back to assignment, they can go back to the reading room after they do their assignments. These level up books, they can explore and you can with your child too, but these level up books, these are their books at their reading level. So this is where they can listen to it and then read the book again. Okay, so this is what their job is during reading and this is what reading A to Z looks like or RAS kids looks like.